Welcome to this TechniForce tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up a call to action in Webinar Loop. Now that we've set up our registration template, our last step here is to set up the player template for the actual webinar itself. Webinar Loop supports standard, minimalist, or professional templates, and you can preview those by clicking the preview button here. Here's the standard. Here's the minimalist. And here's the professional. Once you select a player template, click on update for the layout. And now when we refresh our page, we can go to the top and the pending button now displays ready and all of our steps for setup are considered resolved. That's the basic necessities of what we need to run a webinar but there's still a few extras that we can set up, such as the call to action. So let's go to the call to action tab next. Webinar loop allows us to display our call to action within the webinar itself. Here we can set our call to action heading, and we can also enable a timer if we want to show how long the offer is available for. Then we can customize the button text, and then the button link that will take the attendee to our offer. And then we can set the time that we want the call to action to appear. So if we don't want the call to action to appear right from the very beginning, which might seem a little bit too eager for our sales message, we can set it to show after a specific time. So here we can set the number of hours, minutes, or seconds. So let's just set this for a very short time interval here. We'll just do this for about five seconds. And then let's go ahead and add that to our webinar. Okay, our call to action has now been added. Then to view your call to action, you can just scroll to the top and join the attendee room. Sign into webinar loop. And here you'll see the call to action in the top corner. Don't miss out, get it now. When we click on the button, it takes us to our sales page. And that's how easy it is to integrate call to action buttons into your webinars with Webinar Loop. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.